This is a painting by Isaac van Ostade, a Dutch artist working in Haarlem. This was painted in 1643. I'm giving it full conservation treatment in preparation for the Dutch show coming up at the Queen's Gallery, the Masters of the Everyday. The first thing I did was to document it fully and then you test for how you're going to approach removing the varnish. The next thing I did was combined different solvents to gently swell the discoloured varnish layers, layer by layer, and remove them without affecting the original paint film. It was very nice to see the full tonal range revealed, the pinks and the oranges that you couldn't really see before. Once the varnish is removed, you're left with quite a lot of tough overpaints sometimes, which, especially when they're old, can be quite difficult to remove. I think most of the overpaint was from a treatment in 1903 by someone called Haynes. And if it's too difficult to remove, you just leave it because you wouldn't want to risk any damage to the original. Towards the end of the treatment, there was an area of bushes which I had left until then and I really wasn't expecting to find anything underneath but the bushes were definitely not original and came off very easily and there was hiding underneath a man squatting down um, relieving himself. We think that he was probably overpainted by Haynes in 1903. The impact of removing the varnish was quite significant in that it returned the paint film to what the artist originally intended. The next step was to consolidate the unstable paint film you need heat and moisture, so you would put the adhesive in and use a warm spatula to gently soften the area of paint film to avoid it cracking. You're not softening the paint film, you're not melting the paint film, you're just plasticising it a little bit without changing its form in order that the paint can be laid flat and safe and secured with the adhesive. The next step was to apply a layer of synthetic varnish which should take a bit longer to discolour than the original natural resin varnishes that used to be used. This is to protect the surface, isolate the original paint film from my putties and retouchings which come afterwards and also to saturate the surface so that you can see into the paint properly. Once the isolating layer of varnish is on, I can put some putty into the losses. We put the putties in to protect the edges of the paint film where the loss is and also to raise it to the surface so that we can put in some retouching to mimic the original in those areas. This one is relatively unharmed. There are little areas which are picked up by the viewer if it were not retouched. Our job is to push them back and to make them recede so that you can enjoy the painting as it was originally intended. Retouching involves mixing dry pigments with a medium and we generally use egg tempera just in the losses because it provides very thin opaque layers which you can build up to mimic the original quite nicely 
and where there are damages on the original, you know, smaller damages on other areas, we would use a synthetic resin. The final step is to spray the painting with a final layer of varnish, which is to protect and saturate the painting.